Uh, salutations YouTube. I'm gonna do three quick review videos. Um, as of right now, the uh, barrel and spring I have for this upper. Um, it did come with a 9mm which I put in a actual Glock frame with a fancy schmancy holo sun and RMR cut. Wanted to keep the 9mm on something, you know, a frame that I know about. Actual Glock Gen 3. Um, I do like these mags. These are the uh, Magpul uh, 17 round Glock 17 mags. I like them, even though they're not steel reinforced. Always like Magpul. I think they do a great job. Um, but I had to send this 22 T TCM 9R barrel back. Um, I was having some serious case issues with it. Uh, I included three cases from the, uh, it's kind of, you know, when you're shooting a semi-automatic and you haven't lost any brass, there's a serious problem. But, um, Rock Island, after a week of talking to them, did send me a shipping label to send the barrel back. I believe the barrel was reamed too large. Uh, plus the mouth expansion on these. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I mean that mouth blew out. And you could also see uh, uh, some tooling marks up in the chamber. So I believe what was happening is this brass, you can see it's bulging up here. So as it's being fired and the pressures are being released on this um it's expanding the brass the tooling marks in the chamber are gripping the brass and every shot that i fired out of this thing with the 22 tcm 9r barrel uh it would either just stay closed or the brass would remain in the barrel slide back grab another one go forward and then jam trying to go into a chamber that still had brass in it so I lost none of the brass so also a quick review on arms core as much as I want to like this company um, you know the, the odd thing about it was they had the nerve to say did I have the barrel fitted in the slide properly by a gunsmith now myself consider myself a bit of a novice gunsmith I, you know, I had no reason to. There was no over lockup or under lockup on the slide. The barrel dropped in just fine. The outer parameters of the barrel, everything seemed great. It would operate fine with your hand as long as you hadn't fired some arms core ammo. So, for them, I'd say I'm firing your barrel and your ammo that is designated for a 22 TCM 9R barrel. Uh, we have a problem, and it's your problem, not mine. So, but on to the review of the 3D printed Glock 17 FMDA 17. Um, I like this color. I mean, it just, you know, it screams DeWalt to me. It really does. I mean, true, absolute DeWalt. Um, it's got all these black things on it. And, yeah, it just really does. I really like the color. Um, I won't be able to shoot this until I get the barrel back from Arms Corps. Uh, maybe they'll send me a new one. I don't know. I'm kind of surprised they wanted me to send it back, honestly. I sent them pictures of the case expansions and everything. I sent them, you know, with a caliper and everything. And I said, this expansion seems to be a bit, a bit much. And I also sent them an endoscope camera view of the chamber where you clearly see the tooling marks that's most likely making the brass grip in the chamber like sandpaper so but they told me send it back whatever all right i'll send it back and hopefully they send me a working barrel next time and i can actually shoot it um but this one was printed in this orientation right here um i'll even though there's a little extra cleanup you know in here because you can see the support lines it really wasn't honestly that bad as I thought it would be because you got a clean looking frame um, this one I uh, 
you know, filed all the supports off or ground them off, whatever. Um, I'll do a quick comparison in each video of the print style of the three guns. Put this to the side because I don't have a barrel and spring, so I can't assemble it and show you. But the the gun, I mean, like I said, hey, it's what do you want me to say? It's a Glock. I mean, Glocks are Glocks in the end. Everybody knows them. They're like the iPhone. You know who they are. They've been a tad bit behind, I think, in a lot of ways for development. Um, and I guess when you feel like you made the perfect gun in the 1980s, you shouldn't develop. You know, if anything I can rag on the lock, it's for that. You know, not being developing. Um, but here's the. I'll do a review on this one next. Uh, I have shot this one. This one hasn't been fired yet, but I'm looking forward to the 22 TCM 9R barrel. This one is a Advantage Arms upper printed in this orientation and you can see the difference in how the frames come out. Now this is an Advantage Arms 19 upper. I'm having some issues with this but uh, I do have a Glock 19 sitting around so if I really want to shoot it I can just you know take the slide off of the regular Glock 19 put this on. Now this is the uh, older file uh, but this one was printed in this orientation and you can see how the frame turns out. Now again these two guns um, this one looks great absolutely great inside. Drop that mag out of there and take it out now. Um, the biggest problem I've found with um, these Advantage Arms you know 22 long rifle uppers is these mags now okay this one right here the mags go in just fine mag pull right on in locks in drops right out this won't go in um now this one hasn't been i didn't file the inside of this mag well down for the advantage arm so i'm gonna go ahead and let y'all know it does not want to go in these Advantage Arms conversions are very nice. They've worked pretty good for me so far. As long as you're using high velocity ammo, they're great. But these these slides here, this one right here, I had to file the hell out of it to get this mag to go in. And it's still super tight. So just fair warning, if you buy one of these Advantage Arms, uppers which they're available now and they're reasonably priced because you want a 3d printed Glock I'll go ahead and say it just be aware you're gonna have to file a whole lot out of here and I think it's because of these two tabs on the back here and I get it that you know but function has been great I mean when you know this one right here has been filed and it's still tight I don't want to keep filing on it because of this wall but you know, hey, it goes in, it locks in, it holds in great, and it it really lines up to the barrel absolutely excellent. So I do like these Advantage Arms uppers. Um, but like I said, this review is about the yellow one, so I'll go ahead and try to just talk about it. These are the DIY rails I got on eBay. Uh, they were $45 shipped. I know it's a little bit high. But I do like the Phillips screw that comes with them. They are machined extremely well. They look good. So if you print the 17, I like these rails uh, from eBay. Um, I'll get to the other rails in the next video. But lower parts kit, locking block, uh, DIY rails. Um, these two and that. And then print your frame and then put whatever slide you want. Whether you want it to be a regular 9mm whatever caliber will fit in a 17 frame you can should be able to chamber um had some missteps along the way but uh don't want to really talk about it. had one of these and i noticed a crack developed through here on the first frame that i printed like this in this color but appeared to have a crack appearing here so got rid of that that's whatever bye uh print another one and change a little bit of tweak a little bit of settings but eh, all in all it came out quite well 
functions quite well. Everything works. Um, my eggs fit in just fine. Um, so I wish I had the barrel in the spring, but I sent that back today. But this, I will do a shooting video of it when I get the barrel and spring back from Rock Island. Um, at least they agreed to take it back. Like I said, so far, not super happy with that. But, you know, I mean, to me, I feel like if you're machining a barrel, it fits the slide just fine. You shouldn't have a bullet issue. They shouldn't have reamed that barrel. But, or, you know, if they reamed it, they shouldn't have sold it. But that's another video for another time. But I'll get the shooting video on that later. Till then, yeah. I'm going to have this on the back side. Um, went ahead and got my 9mm barrel out of another gun and my slide out of another gun just since I couldn't show it fully assembled in the other video on it but there it is all Gen 3, nothing in here other than Gen 3 just a 9mm barrel um, and I may do some shooting with it this weekend because hey, I want to see what happens uh, get on the safety gear and see how she functions but so far from function test and fitment everything seems fine really do I'm really liking this gun I really do hope that the barrel I get back from Rock Island on arms core and the TCM 9R work out just great I'm really looking forward to testing that out just because <laughs> I do like the idea of that round and what it ends up being. So, but I just had to add this in on the back side. So, uh, I'll combine these two videos. But I may do a shooting portion of these videos later this weekend if I get a chance. Oh, uh, yep. Uh, yeah. Hey, if they run, they run. That's all I can say about them. But, um, just had to show you what it looks like all together. There she is. A Freeman Don't Ask FMDA 17. This one chambered in 9mm. So, I try to put a shooting video together this weekend if I can and post it. But until then, everyone stay safe, uh, keep shooting, and stay free.